Effects of Rail and Monopoly in the Late 1800s by Kyle Lepke for Menlo College World History Class 112, Kyle. Professor Kevin Kotz. After the United States Civil War ended in 1865, the manufacturing and more powerful North raised tariffs on imports, making British goods more expensive. This made the people in the U.S. buy American-made goods. American industry started to boom, and there was significant economic growth in the U.S. The country was also expanding to the west. People began populating the land west of the Mississippi. This led to the rise of railroads. The railroad boom created many jobs that weren't only a part of the railroad industry. There was steel needed for the rails, creating many jobs and a lot of money in Michigan, Ohio, and western Pennsylvania, where the iron mines and steel mills were located. Also, steam engines and wood were needed to build the railroads, so those industries added greatly to the economy. The people that homesteaded in the middle of America could get free land that they could grow their own food if they built a house. This low cost of living made it affordable to buy many new goods. Through the railroads, companies like Sears could sell goods all across the country through a catalog and have them delivered within a few weeks. This new national market created a great amount of prices comp that brought prices way down. Competition that brought prices way down to almost cost. Small businesses could not withstand the low prices and went bankrupt. The larger companies banded together and made agreements to keep prices high so a profit could be made. These companies soon had an oligopoly control on prices. When the prices rose, there was less demand, so less was produced. This created an excess capacity in existing factories and stopped investment. Without investment, the economy dropped in 1893. Congress passed the Sherman Antitrust Act that made price control illegal. Investment bankers like J.P. Morgan stepped in and realized that monopoly power could only be regained through the use of merger. Bankers bought all of the small companies and turned them into huge corporations such as U.S. Steel and Standard Oil. This re-monopolization eventually led to the economic collapse in 1907.